What's good, YouTube? It's your man BG Tech Life. And as you can see, I got the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 on deck. And as I've been using this device, it's become easily my favorite daily driver. I've been having Samsung Galaxy Z Flip devices since the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Didn't really fall for the Z Flip 3 like that because the battery life on that device was horrendous. But outside of that, it was a pretty okay device. Z Flip 4 got a teeny bit better and around the Z Flip 4, that's where the magic kind of started to happen for me. I started really liking the foldable flip type device. Um, I think it's just a real cool compact phone, nothing more, nothing less. At the most, it's a phone. So I just like that form factor and the kind of like the flow of that device. Now with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 and the introduction of a couple things, I want to say the performance, also the battery life, definitely not exactly where I want it to be, but better so with my daily use i just noticed that i've been picking up this device this is the most comfortable big device that i own like i have some more compact devices but you gotta realize with this z flip 5 is a 6.7 inch display that you can fold to have so it's almost like having a fidget spinner because I like the build. I like the being able to fidget. I like opening and closing the device. I like the physical tactile motion of opening and closing this device and being able to have a super compact little device. And don't forget about the outside screen. What an outside screen I could actually do some things on or just play around with or just fidget with and then be able to open it up to a 6.7 inch screen. I think that is underrated. For years, I've always wanted the bigger devices, the biggest devices out. When we got to the S23 Ultra, I think I kind of hit a wall. I was like, yo, I'm getting tired of this. The S23 Ultra was literally kind of like stressing my hand a little bit if I used it for a long period of time, especially like if you land in the bed or if you holding that device at an awkward angle, you are gonna notice some fatigue in your wrist and hand. But with my Z Flip 5, it's just super compact, super comfortable. And it's just, as far as the phone, it's everything that you want. Um, the performance on the device is really good. I don't have no problem. The device moves flawlessly through the UI. The UI has a lot of customization. Um, I like to customize all the different wallpapers. I like to customize the outside screen and um, just really try really dope accessories. At its core is a really fire build, fire looking device. Um, the bones of this device just look really good. The aluminum frame, the dark aluminum frame on this crazy flip five look insane so when you're getting to put your own personal touches on now your own favorite case in your wallpaper and getting your android set up um the device is definitely a bad boy i just like this power button fingerprint scan i always like the power button fingerprint scanner because it's golden when it just come to ease of use. Samsung giving you a bigger outside display on this device it just solidifies this flip form factor it just says okay now we're going to actually give you an outside display that you could use fidget with it's going to be a fun device this really like solidified the reason that you want to fold your phone and actually have something on the outside of your device to do the other screen wasn't doing it but like with this screen i'm having a ball i think as far as being popular and becoming a trendy device the samsung galaxy z flip 5 has a lot to offer for people that like minimal devices compact devices and i think that's the way of the world um outside of what iPhone has to offer as far as iMessage and FaceTime, which is kind of like everything right now. Once that wave dies down a little bit and people want a little bit more from a device, a device like this will draw peer interest just because it's so compact but at the same time it's a really good phone and then i have a second display i think that's one of the biggest things you could do on a smartphone today give it a second secondary display on the outside where you could actually i'm a grown man with bigger hands and there's certain things that i could do on the outside display that i didn't think that i would actually be able to do on a display on the outside of a flip that folds in half. So imagine what kids get their hands on this, what they could do with this. Uh, just imagine like, I just like sitting around with my earbuds and playing my music and just being able to browse the music on the outside display, not having to open the phone up, not having to draw the battery by using a bigger screen. 
just really chilling checking notifications and you can honestly do some typing on the outside screen but um all in all this is a really good phone period and then i mean it has some really cool features and factors to it as a very cool and trendy factor to it would have been able to be super compact have it outside the screen if they keep coming with these flips that's going to be something that cannot be denied and eventually it's going to catch some sort of traction but for now me personally this is my favorite daily driver just because of the compactness just because of the cool factor i like to fidget with it i like to play on the outside screen i like to open and close it i like that tactile function this your man bg tech life i just wanted to share my favorite daily driver the samsung galaxy z flip 5 i'm out peace